Well, good day, tubes. How's she going? And uh, there she is. She's all painted and stuff. Kind of missed a bit. There we go. I don't know. It's going to probably be just thrown outside, anyways. So. But uh, I don't know. That paint uh, I was using there, I don't know. Maybe it's gone bad in that can or something. I didn't think it would do that, but it didn't seem to coat it very well like it did before. But, uh, anyways, uh, she's black mostly black so but uh, anyways got a bit of shine there but uh, anyways I guess we're gonna start building this little mini mini bucket and uh, I actually found a piece of tube there that I got a while back uh, for something and uh, kinda thinking I might make it around that size ish you know so these were maybe all right, but getting a little bit too sort of big for something sort of small on your desk kind of novelty size thing. I might make one of these, uh, you know, that size eventually, but uh, for today I think we're going to try uh, doing one on this kind of stuff. So, anyways, let's get uh, get stuff reorganized here and uh, we'll uh, get uh, cutting some steel. <laughs> Alright, so I'm thinking of going on something like that width for the uh, for the buckety part, curly part, backy part, whatever you call our part. And uh, we've got uh, four inch at the marks, but uh, I've got to leave a little bit for the nozzle of the plasma tip, right? So we're going to go uh, roughly four inch wide and uh, should be, come on, should be lots long. That's. Uh, uh, 11 and 3 quarter inch, so yeah, that'll be, that'll be lots long, I think, hopefully! <laughs> Although, you know, I used up more than I thought with that other one, but, uh, I think with this, uh, sort of bend, we, uh, we should have lots, so, but anyways, uh, let's get plasma setting up here, and, uh, we'll get cutting here. Okay, so I think we're good to go. Uh... I'm not going to bother with my mask for this little piece here, it's not going to be that big, so I'll turn the fan on, get the back door open the crack. Okay, so we got her welded to the pipe, and we got the pipe kind of bolted down here, but should be uh, should be okay once we get her heated, I think. And uh, I'm gonna try my rosebud tip. Uh, I don't know, this thing blew up on me one time there. It was uh, pretty not fun, so let's see what happens this time. But you can see where she's a bit discolored and stuff there, right? So I don't know if it was leaking here or what, and it just went woof like that, you know. So we're gonna. We're going to attempt her, we're going to try her, I'm going to get my goggles on just in case here, and uh, see what we can uh, we can do here, I don't know, it's uh, pretty scary this thing, but uh, let's see what happens here.
pretty good actually. Didn't blow up my face either, that was nice. Now I've got an adjuster. Oh, my thing's screwed. Oh, well, it's not lovely. Freak sakes. Ah, what a piece of junk that thing is. Ah, oh, hang on, I gotta find another clamp somewhere. Okay, I think we're good now. Holy frig. But, uh, I should probably have my gloves on when I'm doing this, but uh, it's not that bad yet. Turn my fan on again. And crafts here. We got her cooled down and stiff, and I'm uh, not 100% satisfied with the way I should have been paying more attention. But if you can see her, uh, it's kind of going this way a hair. You know, I can probably fix that, but uh, it's going to be a bit of messing around. Uh, it's going to be kind of hard to see it until I get some side plates cut. But, uh, anyways, we're just messing around again with. Uh, you know, angle-wise, to get an idea what um, angle we want the, uh, how long we want the the bucket to be. 
something around in there. I think. Uh, just trying to picture it with this one. That one we actually went in further with it, but to me that just doesn't look quite right. I'm thinking in there maybe be better. That looks like a bit better shape there. So I think I'll draw her out there and uh, we'll trace her out and cut her out. Well, there's our side plates, and uh, I think that looks pretty decent. Gave it a little curl too, you know, like this one has the, the little profile shape, I guess you'd call it. So we sorted that too, and that uh, doesn't look too bad. Uh, I guess we'll trace her out on the, this stuff, and uh, we'll cut a couple of side plates out. got a couple of side plates cut there and uh, I don't know if you noticed when I was cutting that second one I had to stop and pull the plate out a bit because it's actually cutting into the rock here and uh, this is an old rock so don't worry about the name on her and uh, you can see how hot that plasma is she'll focus for us it actually cut into that rock if you can believe her holy there you go actually plasmaed into that rock so there you go but uh, yeah I got some of these I got a whole whack of these because you know People will change their plots around or whatever, and then you know, you've got to change numbers. Like this one's probably got a, oh, that's a name too, but actually this one was spelt wrong. Uh, there's no K in this one, it's just your stun. Go ahead and order another one, so you know, free rock. <laughs> Anyways, uh, hey, that was cool. Hmm. Okay, never mind, that's all I know. But uh, anyways, uh, these are going to be pretty warm, so uh, we're going to get um, that feller there and uh, get my gloves on maybe and uh, get these sort of lined up where we're thinking we like it and uh, figuring out where we're going to chop the front off here because I know we've got too much. So, But uh, anyways, uh, I'll let these cool a minute. 
Well, there we go in her roughness. Uh, they give you a rough idea where she's going to sort of sit. Uh, I tried to get some of that bend out of there by shaving a bit here and shaving a bit there. I got a bit out, but still a little bit wonky off. But uh, uh, I think she'll be good once we get her together. You'll probably never even notice. So, but anyways, I uh, just got her together with the clamp there so I get an idea what she's going to look like. And uh, I guess I'll go ahead and uh, get the plates on where she should be and uh, tack her on. Okay, so there's a the little excavator bucket. We got a couple of, uh, that looks pretty good. <laughs> we got a couple of tacks on her there just to hold her. I got to do a bit of carving and what have you first because I got to put in, you know, the, the bar thingy. It's got to go in and there somewhere back a bit more actually. I got to chop a little bit maybe out of the front here. So it'll fit about there down inside though, right? And uh, I got to kind of hollow out the, I forgot to sort of draw that in the plans. I gotta kind of hollow this out so it fits along the, uh, you know, outside there too, right? So you get lots of welding and stuff. So she's good and strong and stuff. Cause I know Landy's gonna dig the crap out of this thing when he gets her. So, but uh, anyways, uh, she's not perfect the way I really like it. But uh, you know, for a showpiece thing, I think she'll be uh, kind of neat. So, but anyways, uh, let's get uh, doing some measuring and stuff here. We'll cut a piece of this uh, bar for in there. And uh, we'll get fitting that piece in. Okay, so we got the little bar in there ready to rock. We're gonna solder that sucker in. Get her lined up as best we can, sort of about there. And uh, we're just gonna tack her in a couple of places. Haven't really solidly welded anything together yet, but uh, she's uh, she's still holding together with those little tacks, so that's good. But anyways, uh, let's uh, get this tacked on. Alrighty, so we're now going to work on the little dewey for here that the teeth will attach to. And I got some uh, quarter inch stuff, a little bit thicker, so it gets a little bit beefier looking. It's a bit thicker than this stuff, right? So it'll just set off that little bit of a 3D. I had a piece of 3.8, but it was just too huge looking in there. So I thought uh, I got some quarter inch, we'll go chop a piece of that. So I got one set up here. We're going to cut this one out and see how she's going to fit. Alrighty, so we got uh, that piece on, we got her welded on, I went just did a whole woo, whole thing right across, and I uh, kind of forgot, I started going down here, I'm like, oh crap, i got to put teeth on this thing yet, so hold on a sec, <laughs> but uh, anyways, uh, we also got to make side plates for it too, uh, which I don't know what I want to do first, I guess probably going to be teeth, I would think would be the best to... Uh, start now because I gotta lay her down to trace around her again to do the side plates and it's a bit hot so I don't really want to do that right now. So uh, I think I'm gonna make uh, teeth out of the same thickness because once you fold it over and around it's gonna look beefier like that other guy did right so that uh, oops. sorry about that oh camera anyways I think this camera's screwed but still using her but anyways, uh, yeah, so I don't know what width I'm going to do teeth yet. I got to get the measuring tape out and figure out what size would look sort of, you know, scaleish decent on there. So it's going to be pretty small, but uh, anyways, uh, let's uh, see what we can come out with here. Alrighty, so there's our teeth. I figured we'd go about a half inch wide. And uh, one will fit there, and then we'll heat her and bend her around and uh, fit the other one on. So I think I might actually... Maybe weld those on first. And uh, that one was hot. Pretty hot too. <laughs> and uh, maybe weld them on first and then uh, I'll get the torch out after and then do it right there and then bend them right around there I think. But anyways, uh, I'll get these positioned and get these glued on here and uh, we'll see about bending these around. Alrighty, so we got these little things welded on here now and we're going to see if uh, Looks pretty wild like that though, doesn't it? <laughs> We're going to see if we can bend these things around. And I've only got my little wee guy on right now. Little wee tiny guy. 
That's all they figure I'm gonna need, so let's fire it up here. Whoop! Ah! Oh! So sensitive. Okay, so I did draw some little lines here where I want them to bend. So hopefully that's what they're going to end up doing. Sometimes you can relight it, but not today. Uh. Oh, come on. There. Okay, so there's one. so much to do. have a cool down here and we'll see how we're looking. Oh, we just, just made those, eh? Oh, hey. <laughs> but uh, they look pretty good. I think I'm going to finish welding those on there and maybe try to fill in a bit of the holes, make them look 3D-ish like that other one come out. So uh, uh, I probably won't film that because it's going to take a few minutes. I might also do a bit more in there and stuff while I'm going. So, But anyways, I'll uh, show you up when we're done here. This thing's actually got a fan that just kicked on. Hmm. It's interesting. The other one, uh, the other welder had a fan on all the time. Oh yeah, it's really pumping the air out. Nice. But anyways, uh, I guess I've gone about as far as I can today. Um, this thing's wicked hot now. <laughs> but uh, let's see if I can grab it here. 
E. Oh boy, this is hot stuff. And uh, we got the teeth all filled. Actually, that looks pretty decent, you know. So they're all filled, and then we weld it all the way around the outside. Kinda should probably do on the inside too, maybe. Maybe I will just to make her look good, you know. Although, I don't know, it doesn't look too bad, but I think it would look better with some welds in there, you know, just to fill in that gap kind of thing. Because I know Landy's going to put this on some kind of excavator, you know, I want to dig with it, and I don't want it falling apart because then he's going to have to send her back and get her fixed. So maybe we'll do that before we head home. But, uh, anyways, uh, we're almost done for today, I guess. Uh, day sure ticked on today, holy. Now, I didn't spend all day doing this. I was out doing other stuff around town earlier, but uh, anyways, uh, we got to make side plates, I guess, tomorrow, which I'll probably make out of this stuff again. The uh, quarter inch for the sides, and then uh, we got to make some brackets, too, which probably wouldn't be bad out of there, too, you know. I don't know, I might even make the brackets, or the uh, side plates out of this stuff, maybe. That would probably look a little bit more better there, kind of thing. Well, you don't want it too thick, right, because if you put... If you put uh, uh, this on here too, it's eh, not too bad, I guess. We'll see. We'll see what we come out with. But uh, anyways, I'm going to maybe finish welding inside there, and then uh, we'll call it a day. Tell me that wasn't getting good penetration, eh? That's from the inside welding. Holy! Yeah, that's that's better. That looks a little bit more realistic. I might do a little bit more there, though it doesn't look right. But uh, anyways, that's uh, pretty freaking cool. Uh, I don't know if the metal is dirty in there or something, or acting weird or what, but uh, it left her kind of humped and kind of weird there. So, but anyways, it's good and good and hot and everything. But uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on there, but uh, that's wicked hot now. So I'm gonna leave her for today. That is definitely. Oh yeah, weenie roasting freaking temperature. Holy. So, uh, yeah, we'll get back at this tomorrow. Like I say, we'll make side plates and then uh, the Dewey's on the back. And holy crap, we'll be almost done. This little guy, we just got to clean him up and paint him. But might actually throw him in the sandblaster over there and uh, sandblast him. Clean him right up. And uh, we'll give him a good, uh, good blast. Well, I guess that's it for today. I look really, really, really washed out for some reason. Oh, probably because that light's not on back there. Uh, let's plug her back in and see what happens. It's huh. worse. But anyways, uh, that's it for today. Not much else happening. We're going to let this cool overnight and uh, get back to her tomorrow. I thought maybe I'd lay another weld in there. I think I screwed her up even more. But anyway, she should be good and strong, Landy. <laughs> I hope she's good for you, buddy. Stupid thing. But uh, I guess I'll have to resort to using my little camera. That's what I've been using the last few days. But uh, I want to try this one again. But no. Nope. She's screwed. So, but uh, anyways, uh, we'll talk at you. So, uh, talk at you tomorrow. Holy! And uh, thanks for watching and stuff. And uh, next, I want to build a bucket that's actually going to work on the little tractor. Maybe you know, a little bit bigger than this, and a little bit bigger than that one. Not a lot bigger than that one, though. Just a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to probably, if I do another one, I will try that uh, rosebud head thing again there on the torch. That seemed to work pretty decent, you know. It gets it really hot really fast, you know. So the other torch is just a little bit too slow. But, uh, anyways, uh, that's uh, still freaking hot. <laughs> anyways, you guys have a good night. Thanks for watching and stuff. And uh, we'll catch you tomorrow.